Did you install the latest version of Photoshop? When you did, did it kind of frustrate you how the free transform tool works now? Not having to hold down the shift key and all that stuff? If so, I've got a fix for you and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Justin Seely here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel where I'm helping you get better as a creative professional. Each and every week I'm producing new videos on creative software like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Lightroom and giving you practical career advice. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a problem that's been plaguing people since Adobe released the latest version of Photoshop way back in October. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically Adobe changed the way the free transform tool works in Photoshop. So when you're resizing something, you no longer have to hold down the shift key. Now for some of us, myself included, I didn't think this was a big deal. As a matter of fact, I found it to be a welcome change. It took a little getting used to, but ultimately I find it to be way easier and more convenient. But there are still people that are really upset about it. So I thought I'd do a little digging and see if there was a way to fix it. Now the easier thing to do would have been for Adobe to just be like, okay, here's a legacy toggle, you know, like they have for the legacy workspaces in the applications, but alas, no such thing exists. So therefore we have to hack our way into it. And let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you how to do it. First thing you have to do is you have to open up either the notepad on Windows or the text edit application on a Mac. You need something that can create a plain text or .txt file. Once you have that open, you're gonna type out the following. Transform proportional scale space zero. So transform proportional scale, all one word, and then the number zero. Make sure you capitalize the first letter of each word as well because this is case sensitive. Once you have that typed out, you're gonna save the file as psuserconfig.txt. And remember, this is case sensitive as well, so you wanna capitalize the PSU and also the C, so psuserconfig.txt. Once you have the file created and saved on Windows, you're gonna to wanna to store that in the install drive, wherever that is on your computer, and then users, your username, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 settings. Whew. Aren't you glad that's not complicated? On a Mac, you only have to go to this. Users, username, library, preferences, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 settings. Now, on a Mac, in order to get to the library, you will have to do a little bit of a trick to get there. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so here I am. I got Photoshop open and also the Mac Finder window. And what I'm gonna do in the Finder window is I'm gonna hold down the Option key and click the Go menu. That's gonna give me a shortcut to the Libraries folder. If you don't hold down the Option key, you won't see that folder. So hold down the Option key, then choose Library, and you'll be jumped into this. Once you're there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the library, you're gonna go down to Preferences, and you're gonna go into Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 settings. And then you're going to put that text file, that PS user config file, into that folder. Once you've done that, reboot Photoshop. Close it out completely, reboot it. Because if you don't, it won't take effect. So once you have it rebooted, this is what should happen. If I take this photo here and move it into this photo here, like so, and then use free transform, I should be able to not hold down the shift key and, oh look, everything's all janky like it used to be. Yay! If I were to throw in the shift key, Everything moves in proportion as it used to. Hooray! So there you go. 
that is how you fix the broken shift key free transform thingy that went down in Photoshop CC 2019. If you have any questions about this particular tutorial, please drop them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to walk you through this. It is super simple once you find the location to put the file and the file couldn't be easier to create. So if something did trip you up, let me know. I'll be happy to help you and walk you through it. You can also send me an at reply on Twitter. I'm at Justin Seeley, facebook.com slash real Justin Seeley, or send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm at the Justin Seeley. If you like this video or just appreciate the fact that I figured out a way to fix this problem for you, be sure to throw a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a video that I produce. And uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll see you again next time. A problem that's been plaguing... <laughs> la 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 Oh great, I forgot to hit record on the screen. That's fantastic. Take two!